Welcome back to Gurung Pinoy Smash, our module assistance for students help desk. In today's Smash, we are coming back with Math 6, Week 4. Today's topic is addition and subtraction of decimals. Let's take a look at our instructions. For addition of decimals, you need to keep the decimal points in line. You need to line up your whole numbers very carefully. And of course, you need to fill up spaces with zeros. Say you have 12.6 plus 4, plus 0 0.24, plus 100. Okay, so again, you need to keep your decimal points in line. Your whole number should be lined up carefully. Okay, so 12, 4, 0, and 100. Then you need to fill up spaces with zeros so that it's going to be easy for you to add the numbers. Okay, 12.6 here, you filled up a zero at the end. Okay, so 4, you filled it up with two zeros and you have 0 0.24, and for your 100, you also filled it up with two zeros. Now you can proceed by adding them as you would add your whole numbers. Okay, so zero plus zero plus four plus zero, that would give you four. Now six plus zero plus two plus zero would give you eight. Two plus four plus zero plus zero would give you six. One plus zero, give you one and of course you need to just bring down one here and so the answer is 116.84 now these are some very important terms that would tell you that you need to perform addition you have the term sum you also have the term plus aside from that you may also see the terms increase a by b or combine a and b another thing is a more than b Again, these terms would tell you that you need to add your numbers. Now, for subtraction of decimals, we have the following instructions. First, you need to keep your decimal points in line. Secondly, just like in addition, you need to line up your whole numbers very carefully. You need to also fill up spaces with zeros. And of course, you need to borrow from the next available number if there is a need for you to do so. Say you have 70.3 minus 8.46. Again, your decimal point should be in line. Your whole numbers should be lined up carefully. In this case here, your ones digit should be aligned and your tens digit should also be aligned. Okay. Now you need to also fill up spaces with zeros so that it's going to be easy for you to subtract. And of course, you need to borrow from the next available number if there is a need for you to do so. Now we start with our subtraction. 0 minus 6 cannot be. And so we borrow from the next available number, which is 3. We cross it out. What becomes so 3 now is 2. And of course, the 0 becomes 10. So we proceed with our subtraction. 10 minus 6 becomes 4. Now 2 minus 4 cannot be. And so we borrow from the next available number. We cross this out. Then, of course, we have 69. And then 2 becomes 12. So now we have 12 minus 4 giving us 8. 9 minus 8 equals 1. Then we need to just bring down 6. And so the answer here is 61.84. Now here are some terms that would tell us that we need to perform subtraction. Aside from the terms difference and minus, we also have A decreased by B, take away A from B, or deduct A from B. Again, these terms would tell us that our process should be subtraction. Let's take a look at some word problems in your module. Exercise 1. Read the problem, then answer the questions that follow. Marielle bought a dress worth 996.75 pesos. If she gave 1,000 pesos to the cashier, how much was her change? Now, number 1. What is asked in the problem? Of course, we are asked for the amount of change, okay? So what is the change that she will receive? What facts are given? She bought a dress worth 996.75 pesos, and she gave the cashier 1,000 pesos. What operation will be used? Given our problem, we know that the operation should be subtraction. What is the number sentence? It should be, 1,000 pesos minus 996.75 pesos. Now, for what is the answer? Of course, you need to perform the subtraction of your decimals. 
Now we have our numbers here. Again, we have 1,000 pesos minus 996.75 pesos. Again, remember that your decimal point should be in line and you have to write all your numbers very carefully so that those digits that are in the same place value should be aligned. Now we proceed with our subtraction. Zero minus five, we know that that can't be. Okay, now the next available number, of course, here is still zero. And that means we cannot borrow from that. The next one is also a zero. Then the next and the next is also a zero. So that means we need to borrow from this and the 10 here becomes nine. Okay, now here we also have nine and nine and nine. Then, of course, the last zero here becomes 10. Now, we can already proceed with our subtraction. 10 minus 5, of course, that would be 5. 9 minus 7 equals 2. Now, don't forget to write your decimal point. Okay, now we proceed. 9 minus 6 is 3. Then, of course, 9 minus 9 is 0. And 9 minus 9 is also zeros. There is no need for you to write the zeros, okay? And so the answer is 3.25 pesos, okay? Don't forget your peso sign. This has been Coach Mac of Guru Pinoy. Please don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to all our social media accounts. And I leave you with the saying, Malit manabutil na mga kaalaman. Ang dulo nito ay malaking kaginawaan.